Hi, this is a quick video on how to perform Kaplan-Meier survival analysis on log rank test on SPSS. I'm not going to go over too much detail on this video, but I'm going to show you the most important part. Uh, first, what is Kaplan-Meier survival analysis? Well, basically, this kind of analysis is uh, performed to show the probability of survival or probability of failure at any specific time. Let's look at this uh, data set, a fake data set that I created for the purposes of this video. For Kaplan-Meier survival analysis, there are a couple of uh, variables that you need to define uh, before performing the analysis itself. You can here see that um, we have the record number, which is the patient numbers, uh, the treatment method, which is either surgery or medications, one for surgery, for example, um, two for medications. Um, all these patients were glaucoma patients and they needed a, um, a form of treatment, whether it would be surgery or medications. And we followed up the patients for the duration of, let's say, three years. And at um, every follow-up visit, we would, um, uh, we would uh, basically consider if the treatment failed or if it was successful. So the other outcome, uh, the other variable would be outcome. Outcome would consist of either success or failure. So here I define zero as success and one for failure and I put event, which means that I defined failure as the event. Um, and if you want to determine the, the uh, probability of success, you have to define failure as the event. And if you want to um, determine the uh, probable probability of failure, you have to define success as the event. Um, I, I'll explain this a little bit more in a few seconds. And then you have time, which means the time um, at which the patient failed that particular treatment. And then you have um, IOP intraocular pressures at one year, two year, and three years. Okay, for treatment, um, you have 50 patients in here who underwent surgery and 50 patients underwent medications. There are 100 patients overall. For outcomes, uh, you either have success or failure. And as I mentioned in here, we defined failure as the event. What this means is that um, the analysis will define every patient who failed as the event and um, all patients who were successful by the end of follow-up, um, by the end of follow-up study, or those patients who dropped out or lost to follow would be censored out of this study. So uh, we defined failure as the event and we put the number of one. Um, and the time is the time at which the patient failed. For instance, th this patient failed at 24 months or this patient failed at six months, so on and so forth. Uh, let me show you how we determined if the patient was successful or if it was a, uh, of, or if the treatment was a failure. So in here we had three follow-up visits at 12 months, 24 months, and 36 months. Um, and for glaucoma surgeries or for, uh, glaucoma medication, uh, glaucoma treatment in general, we uh, set the uh, maximum IOP target as 21, meaning that everybody who has IOP of less than 21 would be considered, uh, the treatment would be considered a success. And if somebody, somebody has um, IOP, higher than 21, the treatment would be considered a failure. So for the first patient, the patient was successful for all three follow-up visits, so it would be success at 36 months. Second patient was, a uh, the, the treatment for the second patient was a failure at, at 36 months. So we put failure at 36 months. The third patient was missing the 36 months data, but did not fail the first two years so we put success 24 months because this is the uh, last time we have the data for and in here the last time we have the data for is the first year and it is a success so we put success 12 months if this was for instance 24 24 or 25 which is a failure we would failure 12 months in here you can also see that the other patient failed at 24 months and 36 months so we put 24 uh, failure at 24 months so on so forth uh, but you need to um, define outcome variable and time variable for this analysis uh, to work. Next, um, let's do the analysis. Click on analysis, survival, Kaplan-Meier analysis, and then 
for time you put the time variable that we defined and uh, for state uh, for status you put the outcome and then you have to define event as i mentioned in here we, we defined failure as the event uh, in order to determine probability of success and if you want to determine probability of failure you have to define success as the event so failure was the event meaning that you you click on define event and single value in here failure um, failure's value was one so we'll put one in here as the value the factor um, we can uh, actually define a factor in here which was the treatment treatment method was either surgery or medication so if you put the um, the factor in here um, the analysis will divide um, all patients into two groups and compare them with each other uh, patients who underwent surgery and patients who um, had medical therapy compare factors you put log rank this um, analysis will compare the, the two groups the, the group with surgery and the group without surgery and this will um, give you a, a p-value meaning that you will um, it will de determine if the, the difference between the two groups was significant or not. Under save, I'm not gonna save anything. And then for options, these two are ticked automatically, but you can have the survival plot, which is very important in my opinion. So you, you click on survival plot, okay, and click okay. Okay, in here, um, there is a case processing summary. We have 50 patients with surgery, 50 patients with medications, and number of events. Number of events, as we defined, was the number of failures. So um, if 15 patients in the surgery group failed, and 33, uh, 33 patients in the uh, medications group failed. The number of um, censored is, as I mentioned, either patients who dropped out of the study or patients who were successful by the end of surgery. And here is the survival table. The first 50 is for surgery and the next 50 is for medications. And you can see at any specific time point what the cumulative uh, proportion of surviving, meaning the probability of survival at six months is 92%. At 12 months in here, 88%. And as we go uh, up the, uh, as we go up the survival would decrease 83%, 79%, so on and so forth. For the group with medications, um, sur um, survive probability of survival would be 94% at six months, and then at 12 months, it would be 84, uh, 84%, 82%, so on and so forth. Let's look at this graph. The graph um, compares the probability of uh, survival uh, for patients who underwent surgery or um, medications. Uh, the blue line is uh, for surgery and uh, red line is for medications. And this is 36 months because uh, this is the last time we have the data for. And as you can see in here, there is a quite a lot of difference. For instance, in here, probability of survival for medications group is 20%, but in here it would be around 65% for the group with surgery. Um, this table shows the um, estimated time to failure, meaning that the mean time to failure for the surgery group was 30 months, um, 30.9 months, while the um, mean estimated mean time to failure was 26.6 um, months. And this log rank test in here um, with uh, significance of, with the p-value of less than 0.001 would mean that the, the, the difference between the uh, mean estimated time between the two groups is significant and that the pro probability of survival for the uh, medications group um, is significantly lower than the surgery group by the end of three years, uh, which is the last time that we have the uh, data for. When you cl double click on the, on the graph, you can change a, a number of things. For instance, you can um, uh, hide the grid lines, you can change the color of these. In here, the plus values, um, the um, you know, vertical lines that you, you see in here are all the censored uh, patients, meaning those who are lost uh, to follow up or those who are successful at the end. If you like the, um, the tutorial, please uh, leave a like and subscribe. I'll be posting a lot more um, SPSS tutorials in the future. Thank you.